onboarding flow customization in Zoho People. We know that candidate onboarding is a pre-onboarding process that takes place before the date of joining of the candidate. Now let's see the different steps involved in configuring this onboarding flow. In order to do that, we need to first navigate to settings and from here click on the onboarding module. So now you see the flow name that is called candidate onboarding. If you are setting up candidate onboarding for the very first time, you will be asked to enter the portal name. This is nothing but the external portal name through which the candidate is going to complete the onboarding process. Once you enter the portal name, you will see the screen where the flow name is already added. Click on the flow name that is candidate onboarding. And now these are all the different steps that are involved in setting up the candidate onboarding flow. The first one is the welcome aboard screen. So in this welcome aboard screen, you can add an introductory video that describes about your organization. And then a HR partner has to be selected. The purpose of selecting a HR partner is that whenever a candidate completes the onboarding process, this HR partner will be notified on email. However, the HR partner identity will not be revealed to the candidate because they are not yet added to your organization. And then comes the profile section. So under profiles, we have forms and then we have documents and policies. Forms is where the basic information of the candidate will be collected through the candidate form. And this candidate form is associated to the onboarding flow by default. In addition to this candidate form, if you would like to collect any other information, for example, let's say the background verification details, you can create a new form called background verification form and you can associate here. To add a new form in this section, we need to first create the form in the onboarding module. So we need to go back to the onboarding module and from here, click on extend service and there we have an option called add form. So you can add any number of forms under this section and then associate it to the candidate onboarding flow. So here we already have a form created, which is the background verification form. Go back to the onboarding flow. Click on the flow name, forms. And here in this drop down, you see the list of forms that we have already created. So select the background verification form. So the candidate will be filling all the information based on the forms added here. And then they'll be redirected to the next section, which is documents and policies. Documents and policies are further bifurcated into two, that is documents to be read and accepted and documents to be read. The list of documents or letters that you want the candidate to acknowledge or digitally sign should be placed here that is documents to be read and accepted. And the list of documents that does not need the acknowledgement process can be placed under this section, documents to be read. Now let's see how to add documents to these sections. First, to be read and accepted. For you to add a document over here, it has to be first created as a mail merge template. In order to do that, we need to again go back to the onboarding module settings. So over here, Navigate to the Automation tab, Templates, and there we have Mail Merge Templates. So all the documents that you would like to keep it in the onboarding flow has to be added here. Once this activity is done, you will be able to associate these letters or documents with your candidate onboarding flow. So click on Add. Select the document that you would like to attach to this onboarding flow. and then select the sign type. Would you like the candidate to acknowledge this document or you want them to digitally sign it? When it comes to digital signature, you should have a subscription with any one of these signing platforms that is Zoho Sign, DocuSign or AdobSign. Once the integration is done, you will be able to select the option over here. And then comes documents to be read. For you to add a document under this section, there are two conditions. Number one, it has to be first added into the organization file section of the files module. And number two, the file has to be shared with the entire organization. Now let's see how to add a document into the organization file section. In order to do that, we need to go to operations. And from here, 
access the files module. And there we have the organization file section. Click on add, upload the document, give a file name and under share with, make sure you're selecting the option share with entire organization. Once this is done, we will be able to associate this document with the onboarding flow. So we need to go back to the onboarding flow and then candidate onboarding. So all the documents that we have already added in files will be listed, which can be associated here. So the last step in customizing this flow is defining checklist. So a checklist is nothing but a collection of tasks. So there may be n number of pre-onboarding checklists, like creating onboarding portal or creating their access card, a HR department to prepare the welcome kit. So all these pre-joining tasks can be put together under one checklist. So the first step is to create a checklist and then associate tasks to it. So you can click on this add new checklist option. And once the checklist is created, there we have an option to add a new task. Click on add new task, give the task name, And once the task name is entered, set the priority level and then comes the task owner. So this part defines who will be assigned as the task owner for this particular task. So once all the information is provided, click on save. So now you can have a question, when this task will get triggered to the task owners? As soon as the candidate completes the onboarding process, system will automatically trigger this task to the respective stakeholders. And once the checklist is created, we have completed customizing the candidate onboarding flow in Zoho people.